Wisconsin man is taking on that ride right now. He started today on a trip that has special meaning for him and the people he's helping along the way. Much like life, the road has its ups, downs, and a few bumps along the way. It's got a fair number of miles on it. This bike and this 33-year-old have covered a lot of miles together. Probably 20,000 or so. 6,000 just from that trip. That trip was 11 years ago, the first time we caught up with Aaron Kunin. Hopefully I'm halfway prepared. Back then he was training for a cross-country trek. At the time, he was a college student in Milwaukee. That summer, he rode from Alaska to Florida raising money for cancer research. Roll ahead to 2016, Aaron is eyeing his next big ride. Three countries, three states in three weeks. He'll start in Vancouver, Canada, wind his way down the West Coast and wrap up in Tijuana, Mexico, around 1800 miles. So I said in preparation for this this West Coast bicycle ride, let me go in and get a clean bill of health and much to my surprise, they said the, the tumor had returned. It was slightly larger than when they operated the first time, and it would require another surgery. In February, he had his second surgery in about five years to remove a brain tumor. Now he's back on the bike, staring down the road ahead and thinking of where he's been. He's taking this on for himself and others. Aaron's ride is a fundraiser for the Ronald McDonald House, which gives families a home away from home when a child is receiving medical care at the hospital. They stay at little or no cost. The trailer that will hold his camping gear also holds a sign directing anyone who sees it to his website to raise money. His target is $27,000. That's the rough estimate, at least from the, from the global organization, of what it takes to, to fund or provide for a single family. A single family's stay for one year. Aaron plans to split the donations between the Milwaukee House and the Madison chapter. Through donating, uh, if we can give them additional incentive to, to hear a story like this and say, this guy is borderline crazy, you know? The least I can do is give a couple dollars. That's a lot easier than me going and joining him on this ride. If that motivates them to, to contribute, that's all I ask for. He plans to split the money evenly between the two chapters, although he has turned the fundraiser into a competition on his website to see which city can hit the goal first. We have a link to it on WISN.com. Aaron started riding this morning. He's just over 90 miles into his journey. He says the doctors gave him the okay to ride, and he has an MRI planned after his trip to determine any, any further treatment that he'll need in hopes of preventing a third operation.